We all went into this industry to help our patients, help our communities, and that's what we want to continue to do. Now to a story you'll see only on KDKA, a local congressman fighting to keep community pharmacies open. KDK investigates first reported on the staggering number of pharmacy closures here and around the state. Pharmacy owners blame pharmacy benefit managers for unsustainable reimbursement rates. KDKA consumer investigator Megan Schiller continues to dig into this issue and joins us now from Aspenwall. We broke the news to you last week when the House bill passed, and that is aiming to bring more transparency. Now today, Congressman Crystal Luzio came here to Aspenwall's Town Drugs to talk to pharmacists about what they say needs to happen now. Walking the aisles of cold medicine and countless prescriptions. Thank Jeff you. Wilson, I am Wilson's Pharmacy on Penn Avenue. Congressman Chris Deluzio wants to hear more about the struggles in our local pharmacies. There's no longer a pharmacy in Sharpsburg. I believe there's one pharmacy in Etna. His interest means federal interest in the push to regulate pharmacy benefit managers and keep costs down. Congress has to take action. It's great if Pennsylvania and our, our colleagues in Harrisburg can do some things, but we need a nationwide solution. Our reporting revealed community pharmacists failing to get reimbursements from these PBMs or pharmacy benefit managers that work as the middlemen between pharmacies and the insurance companies. Legislation that just passed the state house claims these PBMs take a cut and fail to reimburse pharmacists for the cost of the medication. As state legislation tries to reach the finish line, the same push is happening on the federal level. We did pass one bill out of the House uh, that we'd like the Senate to take action on that should bring some relief here, but there's more we got to do. For pharmacy owner John Akonowitz, it is a daily struggle to keep the doors open. It's hurting the communities. Whenever patients lose access to these medications, it really does not do the community any justice, and it makes the community uh, what's called a pharmacy desert. So more than 140 community pharmacies have closed since January here in the state of Pennsylvania. And even the big chains are announcing closures, Rite Aid and Walgreens. So these pharmacists say something needs to happen now. Reporting in Aspinwall, Megan Schiller, KDK News.